the messy little face. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to July 2015 and happy birthday. This is your month. Now, this is a powerful and intense month. And many of you are still are working with Pluto. Pluto is about power and transformation. And he's requiring you to make significant changes in your life. Uranus is the awakener. Uranus creates abrupt endings, abrupt changes, rude awakenings. Uranus is very active for you this month as well. Now, for many of you, you've already been through these changes. You've already been through the Pluto opposition to your Cancer, Sun, Moon, personal planets, as well as you've completed Uranus squaring your Cancer, personal planets, and so you've already made the growth changes. You may have got out of a dead-end relationship. You may have moved. You may have changed your jobs. At the time, these transits can feel like it's an evil power, evil force outside of me, forcing me to leave my security. And when you get on the other side of it, you realize, wow, I didn't really let go of anything that I needed. I thought I needed that relationship. I thought I needed that job. I thought I needed that group of people. But in truth, I didn't really need any of them. And so this month, Pluto is very much involved with the Capricorn full moon on July 1st. So you go into July with the fireworks going off. And the Sun is in Cancer, Mars is in Cancer, and it's great having the planet of action and desire in your own sign because he gives you a lot of energy. And when you have energy, you can get things done. And it also gives you courage and strength to stand up for yourself. Pluto is in Capricorn. The Moon is in Capricorn. Pluto is opposing the Sun coupled with the moon. So this is going to be a very powerful and intense full moon. It is going to bring out the shadow side. For you, this moon happens in the area of other people. And you're not going to be in the mood for it. So, you know, you're going to be everybody out of my way. And that's great. I want you to practice healthy selfishness. When you do what's right for you, it's right for everyone else. When you're not doing what's right for you, it's not right for them either. When you do what's right for you, you are in alignment with your soul's desires. That means when I go to line up with you or anybody else goes to line up with you, we're lining up with you in an empowered way. When you're not doing what's right for you, you're out of alignment. That means if I'm trying to line up with you or anybody else is trying to line up with you, we're lining up like this with you. You see? And the universe is working to empower the cancers to live their truth, to live authentically, to be true to you. Practice self-dedication this month. This is an important month because it's your birthday month and you're setting the tone for the entire solar year until your birthday of 2016. So this is a very important time. This is a very significant time. And these energies are intense, especially this first three weeks, if not for most of the month. And that's because the Capricorn full moon has Pluto involved and the Cancer new moon has Uranus involved. So both moons are highly charged and very intense. For you, the Capricorn rules the area of other people. Now, one Cancer emailed me and said, I, why didn't you mention I was, was going to be stalked? I, I was stalked this month. I, I only have a limited amount of time here. And I want to focus on the positive. I want to focus on empowering you and being proactive with you. 
Now, if we want to talk about some of the dark side of human behavior with Pluto, such as bullies, people stalking, people running over your boundaries, that's a message for you to set better boundaries. If you go to my website, you'll notice my address is not listed. My phone numbers aren't listed. I had to do that because I am stalked all the time because I'm on YouTube and I have hundreds of thousands of people following me, millions of people viewing me, and so I've had to change my lifestyle as a result. So I know a little something about it. And I had to set better boundaries because we have to teach people how to treat us. And if we're sending out a message that we're loosey-goosey with our boundaries, then they're going to run right over them. So that's our job to shift and change our behavior so that we let the world know and we let others know how far they can get with us, how far they can go with us. So if you're allowing other people to bully you or walk over you or mistreat you or abuse you, you're going to have an opportunity this month to observe this behavior and make healthy changes. Do you need to raise your standards? Do you, and not just in romance and personal relationship, but in your work. Are you working just for the money? When we're working just for the money, then we're going to get a job that is just about the money. Now, I know we all need to make a living, and cancer, you rule safety and security. I totally understand that. However, with these types of transformational energies that have been going on since 2008 for you, the universe is saying, okay, making money is great, but what have you come to do? What is your mission? Who have you come to be? What is your purpose? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Where is your passion? What turns you on? What's important to you? If money was not a concern for you, what would you be doing for work? These are things you really want to consider because as Pluto moves through, he peels you like an onion. As Uranus moves through, they chip away the false roles we play. They chip away the false sense of self. So what emerges? The beautiful, shining diamond that you are. It's very important that you are tuning into who you really are and what you need. And I know, I work with enough of you to know that the Cancers, the Capricorns, the Aries, and the Libras have been doing most of the heavy lifting since 2008. Even though, you know, the Leos and the fixed signs, we went through it with Saturn, and now the mutable signs are doing it, and you definitely don't want to ignore Saturn or take Saturn lightly. Not at all. You know, so I'm not saying that the other signs haven't had it it haven't been challenged either. We're all being challenged. We're all being to step up. We're all being asked to step up into our truth and live authentically and live powerfully and be who we really are. This is about the power of the individual. This isn't about just fitting into the tribe and not speaking your truth simply for security. Security is within. Security is something you carry within yourself. And like the Scorpios, I see some Cancers stay too long in things. You can stay too long in a relationship. You can stay too long in a job. If you're staying in a situation or with someone who doesn't love and value you, what kind of message do you send out to the universe when you do that? Law of attraction is always matching. Law of attraction is always matching. Whatever we're broadcasting is what shows up. What you send out is the result you get back. And so with Pluto in such a powerful position at this time of the full moon in this first part of July, be selfish. Selfishness is good. Without selfishness, you cannot ascend. Selfishness gets a bad rap. It's always confused with narcissism. Narcissism is where we use people to feed our ego and fill up from the outside and that's the emperor with no clothes, but nobody tells the emperor because we all walk around in eggshells around that person, right? And we have no empathy for others. 
That's narcissism. That's what you see in the world. Selfishness is self-dedication. It's saying, I'm putting my soul first so that I can be present for you. I, I have empathy for you. I have empathy for others. I have compassion for others. I feel your pain. However, my dedication to my soul and my mighty I am presence must come first. I must take care of me in order to be there for you. If you're out there filling other people's cups and your cup is empty, that's backwards. That's putting the cart before the horse. Creator would not want that for you. Creator wants you to love you more than the need for that relationship. Love you more than the need for that dead-end job. Love you more than the need of going to that toxic situation just for the money. You see, you can't be driven simply by security. You are incredibly gifted. And I have so many cancers that I work with that can climb the corporate ladder, own successful businesses, are very successful at what they do because they've reached that self-dedication. They, they've learned the lesson. I'm not going to deplete myself for anybody. I'm not going to exhaust myself for anybody. If you want that from me, you don't love me. If you want to use and abuse me, you don't love me. Love, when someone loves you, they accept you unconditionally. And that's a rarity on this planet. And so this is a very important time for you to be there for you, to love you more than the need to keep the tribe, to love you more than the need to fit into the tribe, to love you more than the need to keep that relationship that's not really meeting your needs. You see, that's your job. What do you need? Pluto is not an unlucky planet. I've seen people, and I, including myself, I started my astrology practice in 1995 when Pluto was squaring my sun, Mercury, and Pluto in my first house, out of my fourth. Was it easy? No. However, when you're doing what's right for you, and you're living an authentic life, the planets can't get in the way. You see, there's either divine will, following your self-dedication and healthy selfishness, or there's ego will. Oh, I'm going to live from fear. I'm going to live in please for others. And I'm going to live from a place where I hope they love me back. That's ego. You see? Ego separates you from your power. Ego edges God out. Ego, if it's healthy, is the part of you that helps you take care of you and do what's right for you. But when it's negative, it's the victim, it's the martyr. And I know with Pluto and Uranus and Neptune, it can feel like it's being done to us. Circumstances beyond our control, it's being done to us. But when you really boil it down and you really look at it, you are where you are because of the choices you've made. And that's the good news. When you get in the driver's seat, when you become the captain of your ship, you can take that boat anywhere. You can drive anywhere. But as long as you're in the back seat, allowing circumstances to drive your car, allowing other people to drive your car, allowing, you know, whatever you're saying is the problem, then you're not empowered. Take responsibility for where you are, get in the driver's seat, and you can change your life for the better. You can change your life today for the better. Pluto is not an unlucky planet, neither is Uranus. And especially if you're doing what's authentically right for you. When you're doing what's right for you, it falls into place. And it can be better than you could possibly imagine. I got a radio show in 96 when Pluto was squaring. And many other things. I got a, a fabulous speaking gig at Barnes & Noble, a, a famous bookstore at one time here before Amazon came along and changed you know, the retail marketplace for, for everyone, including bookstores. So that was with Pluto, you see? And Saturn wasn't helping anything in my chart at that time. Saturn wasn't helping anything either. Saturn was in Pisces, squaring my moon and Saturn in Sagittarius. So there wasn't really much except my own soul's desire to own my own business and to help people because for me personally I knew for decades how astrology had helped me and how it made a difference in my life and if it can help me and make a difference in my life that means it can help everybody astrology is the tool it's the gift from creator to empower you to set you free it's not millionaires that use astrology it's billionaires that use astrology
The power elite use astrologers. They use us on Wall Street. They use us in the boardroom. They call us consultants. And then the preachers get on TV and the Pope gets on and says, oh, it's Satan. It's the work of the devil. You see, to keep the masses ignorant to the power of astrology while they use us in the back room. They use astrology. But they tell the masses, oh, don't follow that. You see? And so you can use the astrology to cut yourself free from what no longer serves you. But it does require you to make healthy changes for yourself. And this first part of July is about what's going on in relationships with you. What's going on with other people? Do you feel supported? And having Mars in your sign is powerful. So the universe is giving you power to say, enough. I'm not putting up with this anymore. Enough. I'm not putting up with this negative situation anymore. I deserve better. And as soon as you say, I deserve better, the universe says, she knows she deserves better. We're going to bring her better. He knows he wants more. We're going to bring him more. That's how it works. The only one holding you back is you. You're here to have it all. And that means feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your life, and where you're going. And so you can use these energies to cut yourself free and remember, guilt means you're going in the right direction. If you feel guilty about something, that's your soul telling you you need to do it. If you feel guilty about playing hooky from work, don't go in. If you feel guilty about not wanting to go to that dinner, don't go. If you feel guilty about not wanting to be in that relationship anymore, it's done. You see, guilt means you're going in the right direction. That's your soul talking to you saying, you need to do this. Don't do that. Do what's right for you. Don't worry about what other people think. They only put 17 seconds of their attention on you anyway. And that's right back on them, which where it needs to be. You need to keep the focus on you. And when you do that, you will be prosperous. You will be successful. No matter what Pluto's doing, no matter what Uranus is doing, no matter what the planets are doing, because you've mapped out your course. You've stated to the universe, I am going to be successful and no one and nothing's going to get in my way, including Pluto and Uranus. Saturn has stepped back into uh, Scorpio. That is your sister sign. Saturn's not holding you back. Mars is in your sign. Mars is saying, go for it. Take no prisoners. Move forward. And that's the attitude you want to have. Go where the love is. If someone's not loving on you, don't waste your time. If, if people aren't respecting the work you're doing or they're not valuing you at work, what are you doing there? You're here to be successful. You're here to feel good about who you are. Yes, you're here to put your nuts and berries away for later years or uh, some fancy vacation you want to take. Absolutely. But not at the sacrifice of self. Not at the sacrifice of your own self-esteem and self-worth. No one is more important than you. No one. Without you, what do we have? So this is your time to practice that healthy selfishness and don't fall prey to the shadow side of Pluto. Manipulation, hidden agendas, power plays, power struggles, the drama. Don't get caught up in other people's drama and don't feed the drama. Do what's right for you. Take time to meditate. Take time for yourself every day. Practice that self-dedication when you get up. What do I need today? You know, how do I feel today? What do I need to do to empower myself? What do I need to do to feel better in my body, stronger in my body? Working out, eating really well, drinking lots of water, sleeping, doing things that make you feel good. That's your mission. That's your job to do what makes you feel good. Some of you are miraculous healers. You have amazing gifts because of your powerful intuition, your powerful psychic abilities, your powerful abilities to channel higher source energy through you. You act as facilitators, conduits to, to us. You have amazing gifts. You want to be doing something that demonstrates your gifts. You want to be into something that shows your talent, your passion, your heart, what turns you on. 
this is the time to figure that out. This is the time to really, you know, get, a, get rid of the distractions and focus on, okay, what truly matters to me? Where do I want to be in six months? Where do I want to be in a year from now? Where do I want to be in five years? This is the time to start mapping it out and be very intentional with what you do. Don't wait on others to come in, you know, the knight in shining armor, the, the goddess, whatever you're waiting for, second coming, uh, aliens to land, forget it. <laughs> Today is the day you take action. Now is the time to take action. July is a game-changing month. Now as you move into the middle of the month, you have your new moon. And the sun and the moon are coupled in Cancer and Uranus the Awakener in the area of your reputation in the world, your destiny in the world, your outward contribution to society is squaring that moon. So there could be some rude awakenings coming in here in July to wake you up, okay? And remember, rejection, it means redirection. If you're being rejected at a job or a relationship, you got no business being there. It's about you redirecting your energy, okay? That, it, it's not about feeling bad, okay? Because it's the universe going, you've stayed too long here. You've stayed too long in this relationship. You've stayed too long in this situation. And we want you to redirect your energy and make a fresh start. Where do you need a fresh start? Do you need a fresh start in your career? Do you need a fresh start in relationships? Do you need a fresh start with you? Loving you, self-dedication, healthy selfishness, loving on you. Where do you need that fresh start? Now the universe always provides a way out. You see, Saturn is in harmony with the Cancer New Moon. Saturn is empowering you to be more creative. Use your creative self-expression to create something new for yourself right? If something's closing, that means a new door is opening. You keep walking through that door, and if one door closes onto another, find the window. Crawl out through the window. Keep doing what's right for you, and you will be shown. You will be shown. Your mighty I am presence is always with you. The word alone means all one. We're all one. We're made from the same source energy, and you're never alone. And this is the time for you to make right choices for you. Do what empowers you. Do what lifts you up. Do what encourages you. And if anybody is not on Team Cancer, they need to go. It's time for them to go. This is a turning point month for you. This is a game-changing month for you. This is a powerful month. And Neptune is in harmony with the Capricorn full moon, so as Pluto is... Uh, very active at the moon, the uh, full moon. Neptune is even closer to the moon. Neptune is empowering you to focus on what you truly love and value, what truly matters to you. How are you using your creativity? Are you using your creativity to make your dreams come true? Are you using your creativity to increase your abundant supply? Are you using your creativity to connect to source, your higher power, to expand consciousness, to focus on your truth, your wisdom, what you know to be true, not what society tells you, not what the family tells you, but what your soul tells you, your inner being, your truth, your knowledge. There's always a way out from the challenging energies. Jupiter and Venus are working for you. For those of you with a Cancer Ascendant, they're in your second house. But even still, it's two signs away from you. And that is about prosperity. That is about an increase of abundance. You have your fairy godfather, Jupiter, with your fairy godmother, Venus, coupled together all month. They are so adorable. And they are forming a positive energy flow with Uranus in your 10th house of destiny. So what if something's ending because the universe has something better for you? What if that negative job is ending because the universe has a better job for you with more money, with more opportunity, with more prosperity? The past does not equal the future. Let go of what no longer serves you. The future is what you make of it by the choices you make today. 
Jupiter and Venus are working for you all month. In fact, Venus is going to be in this area of prosperity for you until October 8th because Venus is in Leo and Venus is going to retrograde July 25th through September 6th. So this is an opportunity for you to reevaluate what are my talents, what are my skills, what are my abilities, what is my self-worth, self-respect self-appreciation. How am I using my talents, my inner resources, my outer resources to create the life I want, to get to the next level in my work, to increase my income? This is the time to evaluate that. This is the time to really look at that because you can use these energies to increase your sense of security. But don't let security, outer security, make your choices for you. You're always going to be taken care of. You're always going to be provided for. Maybe it won't be a castle or it won't be a Mercedes, but you'll always have a roof. You'll always have food on the table. You see? And that is what's most important is that you have the freedom and the space to create the life you truly desire. So if it's a castle you want, you can keep working on it till you get there. And this is the time to do it. So this is a wonderful energy for you to really get clear within yourself as to what truly matters and what is not significant at all. Your new moon is so busy. You have Uranus involved in it. Pluto's very loose. It's, it's almost 10 degrees away, so I really wouldn't say Pluto's involved with this. Saturn is closely involved. He's about five degrees away. That's a good influence because Saturn's in Scorpio. Trining, harmonious energy flow to the sun and the moon. That's supporting you. So it's like the universe is saying, if you cut away the fat, if you cut away what's no longer serving you, we will support you. We will support your growth. We will support your life path destiny. Jupiter is semi-sextiling. Mars is involved. Now, Mars is, is, is opposing Pluto at the Cancer New Moon and T-squaring Uranus. So, this is about you not taking prisoners anymore. This is about you not tolerating anybody that's not on Team Cancer. Okay? This is about you kind of being more like an Aries and saying, out of my way. Right? Just out of my way. I'm moving forward. I'm forward focused. I got a job to do. I got work to do. I got a life to live. And I don't have time to play games with you. I don't have time for this. So this is all about your career, your life path destiny, where you're going, where you want to go, who you want to do it with, and really standing up for yourself and what's right for you. Not allowing people to run over your boundaries. Not allowing other people to be more important than you. You are the star of this show, Cancer. This is your month. This is your new moon. And this is your time to shine. And we want to see you have the victory. We want to see you overcome any limitation, any setback. Now, I know for some of you, you've been experiencing a very heavy energy. And you're doing a lot of processing. Some of you are feeling sad or anxious or worried. What you're doing is you're releasing past life karma, karmic records. Now, you're releasing, uh, it can be from childhood conditioning, negative conditioning, but I believe many of, many of these uh, memories or feelings that you're experiencing, anxiety from nowhere, has to do with the past lives. You're clearing out the records. You're clearing out the basement. That's because you're ascending. The planet is ascending. And when we're ascending, we clean out the closet. We clean out the basement. And when you do that, you get filled with light. And when you do that, you feel lighter. So if there's any negative emotions coming up, don't hang on to them. You don't even need to understand it. You don't need to go back and process past lives. All power's in the now. You need to be here now. But whenever we're in fear, it never has to do with present time. It's always the past. Or you might be going out into the future. You're not there yet, so of course it's going to scare you. Don't go there. Your power's in the now. 
right? So whatever uh, day you're watching the video or you're listening, what scares you about today? Nothing, right? Of course not, because you're here today. You're not afraid of your present, right? So when those memories come up and you're processing these deep soul records, they're not coming up for you to like go through, oh my gosh, they burnt me at the stake. Oh my gosh, we starved on the farm. No, it's about releasing and letting go. Release it, let it go. When you do that, you're purging so that you can be filled with light. This is the time for you to purify. This is a wonderful time for you to detox, right? Where you say, just eat all vegetables for a day, or you drink tons of water, you do a juice fast, you know? Anything like that, that purifies the four lower bodies, the mental body, the emotional body, the spiritual body, and the physical body. So this is a wonderful time for you to purify. And when you do that, you come up higher, you hold more light, you expand consciousness, and you find solutions to anything that's challenging you. So let go of what no longer serves you. If you're if experiencing heavy energy, let it go. Don't hang on to it. It's not going to serve you to worry. Worry, all we do when we worry is focus on what we don't want. And when we focus on what we don't want, we attract what we don't want. This is why I'm always forward focused. This is why I'm proactive. This is why I focus on the positive. Because when you focus on the positive, you get more positive. When you're proactive, you attract good things into your life. Health, well-being, vitality, prosperity, love, whatever your heart is desiring, you will be much more attractive when you are focused on what is working in your life. What is going your way? And maybe it's a challenging time for some of you. You're having a hard time finding that one good thing. It doesn't have to be big. It can be tiny. It can be, you know, something like, um, I had a good workout today. I feel strong today. I feel like I slept really well. I feel rested. That's a positive. Focus on the positive. Let the future take care of itself. Don't worry about the past. It's done. It's history. Your power is in the now. Use these energies to clean yourself out of what no longer serves you. And when you do that, your higher self fills you with light. And when you fill with light, you feel lighter, happier, more joyful, more ready to seize the opportunities that are now in your life. And there are new opportunities in your life. By the end of the month, there's another full moon. And it's in Aquarius. And there's no challenging aspects to it. So Aquarius rules the area of your life that has to do with your subconscious and the deep mysteries of who you are. So if you're doing your homework during the Capricorn full moon at the first of the month and then your Cancer new moon at the middle of the month, by the end of the month, you're going to feel light. You're going to feel like oh, there's nothing left. I'm filled with light. I've worked through that. I've worked through that. I don't need to hang on to anything that's not making me feel good. And you can celebrate your victory. Celebrate every time you do something right for you. Celebrate every time you claim your power. Celebrate when you are self-dedicated. Celebrate when you're practicing selfishness. Selfishness is good. Without it, you can't get off the wheel of karma. You can't ascend. Because if you don't love yourself more than the need to please others, you will not ascend. You'll have to come back and do this again and again. Because that's how it works. It's, it's a wheel. And we just keep spinning on the wheel until we understand how we're giving our power away. And the universe wants to empower you, especially this month. It is asking for you to let go of what no longer serves you, get in the driver's seat, and move yourself forward. Venus will retrograde July 25th through the 6th. This is all about evaluating, like I said earlier, what truly matters to you. The sun enters Leo on the 22nd, followed by Mercury on the 23rd. This is also, so there's a big focus in your money this month. And those planets are harmonizing with Uranus in the area of your destiny in the world, the work you do in the world. So there's some sort of financial gain coming for you. And Again, Pluto's not an unlucky planet, neither is Uranus, but they do require you to live by your truth, to be who you really are, to live an authentic life. If you're doing that, then the Jupiter is going to reward you with financial gain. The Sun in Leo, 
Mercury and Leo, Venus and Leo is going to reward you with financial gain. Uranus will retrograde July 26th through December 25th. This gives you the opportunity to digest and assimilate all the growth work you've done in your career, all the growth work you've done in empowering your individual power, your selfhood, your personhood, your personal development, your self-development. What have you been doing to not only improve your career, but improve your life? Venus re-enters Leo on the 31st where she stays until October 8th and that's all about money and your talents, your gifts, your abilities, your self-worth. So the universe is saying, Cancer, we love you, we support you, we want you to do what's right for you and by doing that it's like there's a treasure waiting for you with your talent, your gifts and your abilities that can make you fortune it can make you prosperous even more prosperous than you are and never have to worry about security the future will take care of itself it's more important to be doing something you love when you do something you love you never have to retire it's only people that hate what they're doing that retire those of us that love what we're doing we're never going to retire now we may slow down a bit you know and get up there in age but you never stop working because you love what you're doing so it's more important that you find something that you love doing than I'm going to put all my nuts and berries away so I have a big fat 401k, you know. Okay, that's great, except, you know, what if there was another way to do it? Say, what if there was something you're here to do that could be really prosperous for you and you could do for the rest of your life? What kind of security is that? You see? So security is really something we carry on the inside. And after 2008, you know, although it did come back afterwards, you know, the stock market, but, you know, there isn't always security in these, you know, uh, programs that promise security. We don't really know, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow. All power is in the now. And, you know, with this huge focus in this area of your talents, your gifts, your abilities, the universe is saying, hey, cancer, find something you love to do. Find something you're really good at. Find something that you're passionate about that you never have to retire from because you love doing it and is a source of income for you. Now that's security. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my podcast, Cancer. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. If you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, what's coming up for you in your solar return chart, your solar year, it's very easy. You go to the link below. It takes you to my astrology service page. Purchase your session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. You get scheduled. Or if you're interested in coaching and you want to work on that new idea, that big idea, that new project, that new business idea, or getting to the next level in your career, hey, it kind of all rhymes. You go to my coaching page, you purchase your session. Upon checkout, you get a link to my schedule. You get scheduled. Or if you're interested in attending my webinars, I have a great one on money. And I would love to see you there. And until next time, Cancer, happy birthday and do what's right for you. Don't grow Would you be so bold To forget